Okay, so because I didn't get a chance to go over your final that in depth in class, this is what your final is going to look like. Um, you, it's on chapter four. You're going to write the pro, um, the indirect. I mean, I'm sorry, the direct object pronoun. You'll read the sentence um, above. You'll decide which of the words out of Jorge tiene la mochila de Pilar, which of the words is the direct object, then you'll change it to the direct object. So you'll change your sentence from Jorge has Pilar's book bag to Jorge has it, filling in the blank with the direct object pronoun. Um, here, this is un día de mi vida en la universidad. You're going to um, discover what the student does during a typical day by filling in the blanks with a logical word from the word bank. You'll read the paragraph below and you will complete the paragraph with the word from the word bank. Um, they are verbs, but they have already been conjugated. You do not need to change them. You use them as they are given. Um, then definitions. This deals with family vocabulary. ¿Quiénes son los padres de tus tíos? ¿Quién es la madre de tu madre? Just read these questions and then write a complete sentence telling who the family member is. So, for example, ¿Quién es la madre de tu madre? You would write, is mi abuela. Uh, la personal, you decide if you need the personal a uh, or not. If you need it, you write an a uh on the blank. If you don't need it, you write an x. And if you don't remember what any of these things are, I sent out a uh, link a few, week, few days ago with videos that explain um, the information that's going to be covered on the final. So you can watch one of those, um, one of those videos. Okay, and the next section, it's vocabulary. You, it says a group of friends are discussing the activities they do in their free time. Complete each sentence with an appropriate word from the word bank. Be sure to use each word only once. Just read the sentences below and pick the word from the word bank that would best complete them. Um, then, sabes identificar el objeto directo. In this one, you are going to read the sentences and decide which of the words in the sentence is the direct object. And so you will choose between the three choices given. Which of these three nouns happens to be the direct object? Um, this is listening. You're just going to, um, in class, I will play the audio that goes with this particular section and you'll decide if the statements below are true, false, or not mentioned. Um, here, you're going to choose the word from the word bank um, to best complete the sentences below and you will conjugate, uh, not only will you choose the right verb to complete the sentence, but you'll need to conjugate it for your subject. Remember that in statements, you typically find the subject before the verb, so it would come before the blank, and in questions after it. Remember, all of these verbs are stem-changing verbs, so unless, um, we are unless your subject is nosotros or vosotros, you are more than likely going to make um, a spelling change in this step. Uh, then you've got a reading section. You're going to read about La Familia de José Muñoz. And then you are going to decide whether the statements below are true, false, or not mentioned. Um, this is also dealing with stem changing verbs. You're given two choices. You pick the, vo the verb that would best complete the sentence, and then you're going to conjugate it for the subject. Remember that you make the stem change for every subject, unless it's nosotros and vosotros, and in that case, you would use the original stem. Um, then we've got La Familia de Pablo, so you'll look at this picture of pa Pablo's family, and then you'll fill in, fill in the familial relationship that would best complete the following sentences. 